was phenomenal. I thought Rondo, uh, you know, listen, this morning, um, Eddie told me that Rondo wasn't playing, you know, because of his foot. And then uh, 10 minutes later, uh, I go down so we can, you know, watch film, and Rondo said, I'm playing, I'm fine. And, uh, you know, and he down the stretch his defense, his hands, the steal on that inbounds play, the, uh, the deflection steal at the end of the game on the last shot. Um, he was great. I mean, Rose got one drive in the uh, overtime, and he yells to the bench, "My fault!" You know, I mean, he was just—he was locked in tonight, and that—that's—that's that's what we need. You—you you, you said you were keeping an eye on just where his feet were. Yeah, I told him that before the game too. I walked right over to him before the tip and said, "Hey, listen, if I see anything, you can see he was good." The only thing we did, and you can tell, we we subbed him early. Um, you know, uh, I think it was five or six minutes in the uh, first we subbed him, and then we did it again at halftime. Uh, and, and overall, that may have helped him with his win. Yeah. It, is it plantar fasciitis that he's got? I guess I can't pronounce it. Uh, but the, so the, that sounds the, good. <laughs> Go ahead and run it. You know, I think that's what it is. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's a mild case, but those are, you know, when those get fired up, I mean, those are extremely painful. Doctor, wouldn't be surprised if he gets fired up for Derrick Rose, you would think? Rondo. Yeah, they get fired up for each other, I'm sure. I mean, that's human nature, and um, it doesn't get any easier. We play a pretty good guard next game as well, you know, so. Um, but it's good. I mean, th those they're both in section. You've been talking about. To keep, to keep that planners at bay, I guess, because he's so important out there on the floor, but that gets worse. Yeah, I don't know what you do, um, honestly. Carol, I, I, I think at the end of the day, we're just going to monitor it. Uh, you know, one thing I could do is not. Uh, could do a better job coaching so we don't have to go in overtime. That would be nice. Uh, those five extra minutes back-to-back -back games can't be helpful for us. Marquis tonight for you. Awesome. You know, aggressive. Uh, I actually thought he saved the game for us uh, because I think, and I'm not sure, uh, that second unit, him, Nate, uh, Simi, I think they went on a 21-3 or, or a big run. I mean, I thought that stretch was the biggest stretch in the whole game for us. It gave us some breathing room. You've been talking about the importance of regular season since since you started and winning these kind of games. Is this all part of? Yeah, we lost them all last year. You know, at this point, you know, and then we start winning them in the playoffs. Uh, it's good to be winning them early. It's good to have. Um, I guess it's good to have this end of the game situation every night <laughs> right now uh, because it's only going to make us better at the end of the day.